Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Relationship Rehab with Favor Jerry. This video will be talking about uh, how to have a healthy relationship. If you're seeing my face for the first time, where have you been? Anyway, you're welcome. Subscribe before you leave. Also, hit the notification bell so you could get notified whenever I drop a new video. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming over and over again. I'm really very grateful. The importance of a healthy relationship cannot be overemphasized. It is important to be in a healthy relationship. A toxic relationship is not a thing to be in. In as much as there are lots of toxic relationships in our society today, there are also healthy relationships. And, and um, having a healthy relationship is possible. Being in a healthy relationship is possible. You both can make it work. One very important thing to understand when talking about relationship is the fact that no relationship is perfect. And at the point you are, you, it is necessary to work it out. So the very first thing I'll be talking about in how to have a healthy relationship is that you have to be a healthy person and a whole person. If you're a whole person, meeting a whole person, the relationship is much more easier, right? So, it is important to work, first work on yourself to be a whole person. Do an appraisal of your mind always to ensure you are a whole person. A whole person won't hurt others. A healthy person won't hurt others with their words, won't hurt others with their um, expressions, won't hurt others with their actions and all of that. So, ensure you are a whole person to be able to build a whole relationship and a healthy relationship. The second point here is that you should be open to accepting your partner for who they are. It is important to be tolerant. It is important to be patient. It is important to understand the person who you're with and um, take the person for who they are. If you understand the person you're with, it is easier to accept the person. That is why it is important to check who you're going to, to uh, be with because there are lots of things that can't be tolerated. Always give criticism in a positive way. And before you criticize your partner, ensure you already appreciated your partner for one or two good things that he or she have done in the past or who he or she is doing like i always say there is no completely negative person there is definitely a, a positive thing in that partner so before you correct your partner or criticize your partner for the negative thing he or she does ensure you criticize he him or her for the positive things that he or her have done in the past or is doing of that or that wonderful attribute of him him or her that you so love tell the person about it hit um the nail on it or the person's positivity again and again before you present the negative if you always present just the negative nobody wants to be negatively criticized in as much as they know that what they are doing is wrong it could be that they've tried changing and they can't change on their own they could need your help in one way or the other so for you to be pointing it out you should also be willing to give the person solution a way out of that negative attitude of that negative thing in the life of the person don't just throw the criticism and st step back and angrily talk to the person nobody wants to be corrected in that manner right your uh, manner of approach matters a lot when building a healthy relationship. Another point I have here is that you also have to be open to correction. To build a healthy relationship, the both of you have a part to play. So now you cannot say you are a perfect person. There's no perfect person out there. You aren't perfect. So be willing to take correction. Be willing to take, um, to be willing to adjust, right? Be willing to uh, um, be flexible. The next point I have here is that it is important to love, to care, and to adore. Everyone loves praises and everyone wants to be appreciated for the positive things they do and for the positive thing that they are. Um, ensure you love 
show your partner a lot of love don't feel that you aren't being loved and so you try to put back in giving out your love to to have a healthy relationship you can't take love out of it yeah you can't take love and care out of it ensure you adore your partner reference your partner it's not a big deal to do so to have a healthy relationship you have to incorporate that into your relationship another point i have here is that you have to build a healthy communication skill build a good communication skill i know you know um, the various communication skills like listening to your partner uh, talking to your partner be open with your partner and all of that i bet you if you follow this point of mine you will soon uh, see how beautiful how wholesome and how healthy your relationship will turn out to be thank you so much for watching this video to the very end hope you got a thing or two S sorry about my voice i hope in regardless you were able to gain something from this video and sure you click the like button drop a comment for you and subscribe if you haven't already click the notification bell also so you could be notified whenever i drop a new video thank you so much for watching and god bless you until my next video goodbye for now